Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts of Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, and this is Artifacts of Mars, and thank you for watching Tyranny Watch News. Down in Von Omri, Texas, a militia is setting up a command center in order to eventually seal the border up to try to patrol the border and stop the influx of illegal aliens coming in from Latin American countries. The report is from krgv.com and the command center is set up in Von Omri Von Ormi Texas. That's a tough one. The group has a website called Patriot Information Hotline Group. I'm not saying how many members are in the militia. We have patriots all across the country who are willing to sacrifice their time, their monies, even quit their jobs, come down and fight for freedom, liberty, and national sovereignty. Davis said. As usual, the uh, reporter who reported on this was clueless. He doesn't understand why these people are doing what they're doing. He doesn't understand the need for it, which is nothing new using knowing our mainstream media. These people are clueless. ARGV is an alphabet channel news Source, News 5, and the ABC. Moving on. Meanwhile, while our brave uh, patriots may be giving up many of the things that they uh, love the most dearly, our uh, resident Obama is shooting pool. Was shooting pool with Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper, a Democratic Congressman Representative Henry Kuehler of Texas, is not happy with that. If he's saying he's too busy to go down to the border, but you have time to drink beer, play pool, the optics of the appearance just mean that he's not paying attention to this humanitarian crisis. You're right, Congressman, he's not paying attention to this humanitarian crisis. That's from National View Online, Review Online, The Corner. Well, Congressman, uh... Maybe he's trying to get it, I don't know. But this is more than a humanitarian crisis, this is an invasion. In the U.S. Senate, a gun battle is brewing, not an actual gunfight, of course. Republicans want to overturn the ban on large capacity magazines and assault weapons in the District of Crime, I mean District of Columbia. Expand the right to purchase or transport firearms and ammunition across state lines. Limit when a military veteran can be denied a firearm due to mental illness. And allow gun owners to carry weapons into post offices and, or other federal sites. Democrats said that they are working on proposals to limit the sale of certain weapons and ammunition. 
expand the national background check system and stiffen penalties for gun straw purchases. This is from the Washington Post, by the way. Proposals will be added to the Bipartisan Sportsman Act, a measure that will make it easier to hunt and fish on some federal lands, allow the construction of more public shooting ranges at national parks and wildlife refuges, make it easier to purchase federal permits to hunt ducks, geese, and other waterfowl. It also goes on to say that there's seven states where Democrats are basically in trouble and if they don't start cooperating, they're going to get thrown out of office. That's not, that's my words, that's not there. But that's my bottom line to this is, there's a lot of Democrats are reading the so-called tea leaves and know if they don't start standing up for gun rights, they're going to get thrown out of office. Not to mention the border situation, which of course is horrible. That's about it. I hope to expand this as soon as I get a uh, good routine going. This one today is just a test. Today is July 10th, 2014, Anno Domini, which means in the year of our Lord. I want to fax Mars. Thank you for watching Tyranny Watch News. Be sure to visit tyrannywatch.com. And while that's going on, going on, from National Review Online, the corner once again, Ted Cruz, Obama plans on border surge continuing indefinitely. Where have we heard that term surge? We heard that with Iraq. Duh. This is an invasion. Obama's request for $3.7 billion in supplemental funding amounts to a mission that he plans for the influx of immigrant children to continue indefinitely, according to Senator Ted Cruz, Republican out of Texas. Cruz said that only 5% of the funding would provide for boots on the ground along the southern border. This is an HHS and social services bill that is entitled Border Security to make it look like it's responding to their problem, Cruz said in National Review Online. But this supplemental bill is a mission by the President and he has no intention of solving this problem and indeed he anticipates it continuing indefinitely because he's simply asking for money to deal with these kids who are coming after they've been brutalized rather than taking necessary steps to prevent them from coming here in the first place to prevent them from being victimized. Amen, Congressman. This is unbelievable, folks. Your country is being invaded. Going now to the international news, the Israeli self-defense uh, force has struck any guys of targets in under 30 minutes in Operation Protective Edge after Palestinians have been launching barrages of rockets and have reached the Israeli capital, Tel Aviv. Rocket barrages from Gaza continue to pound southern and Central Israel on Wednesday and Hamas struck its northernmost and eastmost targets today as it fired long range rockets in, at Zikron, Yaakov, and Damona. Soon thereafter, the Palestinians fired rockets at Rehovat and Nes Ziona, triggering color red s sirens. One rocket hit Yavin. Yavni's uh, area. And the Israelis are uh, retaliating against this. 
They've been intercepting a lot of the uh, rockets that have been coming into their territory, hitting Tel Aviv and hitting other areas. So this situation in the Middle East is heating up. It's not a good situation, but it's rather typical of what we see in the Middle East from time to time. Somebody's got to do some fighting. And ISIS in Iraq took sledgehammers to the tomb of Jonah. This is a guy who supposedly got swallowed by a fish. I say USO on an identified submerged object. And they also found more than 50 blindfolded bodies that have been massacred by these barbarians. South of Baghdad. That's just lovely. Now, turning to uh, Germany. In Germany, um, our top CIA, our t CIA chief has been expelled from the country. I can't really say that I blame them because of the way we've been spying on them and intercepting all their uh, information. Thank you uh, very much, Barry, for uh, ruining our diplomatic relations with Germany, who's supposed to be a close ally of ours. I mean, who would you rather call an ally, Mr. Obama? Would you rather call China an ally, or would you rather call Germany? In today's world, I say Germany. Uh, world War II ended a long time ago, Mr. Obama. And... <laughs> we need Germany on our side. In my Delegaf section, scientists have decided that there's a universal crisis in progress. Something is amiss in the universe. That is, 80% of the light that should be there is missing. Now, just what do we think that we're going to do about this? This is an International Business Times in the UK, there's a missing light crisis taking place in the universe with a huge deficit on what there should be and what there actually is. Astronomers have said something is amiss in the universe with 80% of the light missing. It's as if you are in a big, brightly lit room, but when you look around you see only a few 40 watt light bulbs. Where's all that light coming from? It's missing from our census. Like I said, this is my Dilgaff section. You don't want to know. Dilgaff means do I look like I give a flying and I'm not going to say the rest. It's amazing the things in, that these people come up with when we're in the middle of an unbelievable crisis in this country. But they got to have something to talk about, I guess. Oh, well, anybody has ever looked at the night sky and realized that everywhere you're looking at stars, but most of it is black, has already realized this. It takes these scientists this long to figure this out. Unbelievable. <laughs> 